Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techy, and in this video, we're going to learn about interfaces and polymorphism. The interface in PHP is defined with a keyword interface, followed by the interface name. I'm gonna name my interface element. Inside of our interface, we define method signature, which means we define the actual method without having to define how the method is implemented. So we're gonna do this here, define method signature. And I'm gonna name the method characteristics to describe our element characteristics. And that's it, that's all we have to do. We'll just end the method with a semicolon without writing the method's body. And that's what it means to define the method signature. So any class implementing this interface will now have to include this method. So now let's define some classes that will implement this interface. And we implement the interface with the keyword implements, followed by the interface name, which is element. And let's go ahead and just copy and paste this to create three other elements. So we're going to be doing water, fire, air, and earth elements, which will all be sharing the same interface. And that is what polymorphism is. It's when multiple classes have different functionality, but they all share common interface. So all of our classes will be implementing characteristics method, but there will be the characteristics will be describing uh, each element differently. So the functionality of all of our classes will be different, but they'll be sharing the same common interface. So that's what polymorphism is. Now for our classes to actually correctly implement the interface, we have to define the characteristics method inside every class. And we also have to specify the actual uh, body of this method. So let's create this method in all the classes. Just gonna paste it here. So all the method is going to do is it's going to return an array of the characteristics that are related to each element and an array of characteristics will be different for every every class. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste an array that I have prepared here for every element describing the element characteristics. So these are all the characteristics of the water element. Next we got fire. So I'm going to paste this array here. Air and earth. Okay, so now what can we do with all of this? All right, so here's where we can implement polymorphism. So suppose we have a function that will describe the element. So we can actually type hint our element in the function parameter. So we can say element and then the property name. So now this function will only be accepting uh, objects with an element data type and since all of our classes implement the element it will be able to accept water fire air and earth classes as the as the property and so in short this function will only be accepting objects with the element data type and for now let's just uh, echo out the class name so we can say echo get class element and now we can go ahead and start instantiating the objects and uh, test everything out so let's go ahead and create the water element and now we can call our describe function and pass the element to the function so we have created a new water object but its type is element because it implements element interface so it will be accepted by the described method without problems 
Now let's see what happens when we run this. So here we have water, since that's the name of the class. And now we can just go ahead and um, instantiate all the other elements and do the same thing. Describe. Describe element. And, um, and let's just go ahead and echo out the BR. So have some spacing between all the elements. Uh, view this in a browser. And now we have water, fire, air, and earth. So as you can see, we are creating different objects, but since they're all implementing the same element interface, uh, we're able to use uh, the function described element without having to change anything. And then we get different response based on the type of object that we're creating. So that is how polymorphism works. We have classes with different functionality while sharing the same common interface. Now let's actually do something useful with this. Let's go ahead and uh, print out uh, the whole array for every individual element inside of our describe function. And first what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if element characteristics returns an array, just to make sure. So we're gonna say if is array element characteristics, and that's a method, so don't forget to use the brackets here. And if we have an array, then we're ready to loop through it. And for that, we're gonna use a for each loop. We're gonna do the same thing, characteristics as characteristic. And then we're just gonna go ahead and echo out the characteristic. And let's go ahead and um, add this strong tag to this one, concatenate it, and then do the colon and close the strong tag and add the dr as well. All right, so this should uh, loop through the array and print all the individual descriptions or phrases and keywords uh, on a different line for all the so let's go ahead and see what this looks like in the browser. And as you can see, we have all the descriptions being printed out, which are related to each of our individual elements. And they're all different because the characteristics method array inside of the class is different. And so that is how interfaces and polymorphism works in PHP. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.